Alright, we're in a war now, my friends. So, what do we need? Those who have subscribed already know what we have in our arsenal. But don't worry, even if you haven't subscribed, you haven't missed much, or so you might think. Getting back on track, let's talk about the essentials we'll need, weapons, strategy, troop numbers, and positioning. But let me ask you this, what's the greatest strength in any battle? It's not weapons or firepower. The greatest strength is control, having the ability to take charge and steer the events as they unfold, right? Well, Turkey isn't backing down from taking firm steps to achieve exactly that level of control. After 10 years of R&D and 8 years of production, a new machine has just been unveiled at the Saha Expo International Defense, Aviation, and Space Industry Fair, organized by Saha Istanbul. Europe's largest industrial cluster. It's called Asman, which in Turkish refers to someone or something extremely powerful and robust, and if you look at this machine, you'll see it definitely lives up to the name. Asman is an autonomous reconnaissance vehicle designed to navigate rough terrains with ease. What sets it apart is its independent hydropneumatic suspension system on each wheel, allowing for smooth movement. It's powered by a hybrid system with both diesel and electric engines. Oh, and did I mention it's autonomous? Yep, no need for a driver, it operates remotely. Don't underestimate it just because it's a recon vehicle. If you don't know where your enemy is, you'll end up wandering through the woods like in PUBG, waiting to get ambushed at any moment. Asman has a load capacity of 4,600 kilograms and weighs 6 tons itself. It has a range of 300 kilometers on tough terrains and can adjust its height by 70 centimeters, allowing it to rise and lower as needed. It can even make pinpoint turns on the spot. With independent movement on all four wheels and a combination of depth cameras, LIDAR, and radar, it can pinpoint its location accurately, connecting directly with GSM networks. It seems like the ultimate tool for communication and reconnaissance. Let's hope we never actually have to use it in battle, at least, not for Turkey's sake, but rather for the enemy's sake. What do you guys think? Let's discuss in the comments.